We love making best of lists almost as much as we love watching movies, but choosing the top 98 films of all time is a definite challenge. Respawn Entertainment today announced that it has delisted Titanfall, effectively removing it from sale. Let's face it. We'll never get to watch every good movie ever made, and it's impossible to make a list like this without feeling like we're missing something. Titanfall was the first game Respawn Entertainment made as a new studio back in 2014, and now it seems the title is being retired. Hey, at least we don't have to rank them. But we still hope that when it comes time to pick a movie, this will help steer you in the direction of some of the best entertainment the medium can offer. Pulling from critically acclaimed international gems to the most genre-defining blockbuster successes, we rounded up samples of the best from every genre. Want heart-wrenching, thought-provoking drama? Pulse-pounding adventure? Non-stop laughs? Mind-bending science fiction? We've got it all. It isn't all bad news, though, as those who own the game will still be able to play it even after it disappears from storefronts. Respawn, Electronic Arts Respawn pulls the game that started it all Respawn announced its decision to pull Titanfall in a statement published to Twitter today. And we don't think any of it will disappoint. Updated on December 6, 2021. Did you know that even after we wrote this list, people kept on making movies? Rude, right? Plus, we're constantly uncovering hidden gems that might deserve your attention. We've made the decision to discontinue new sales of the original Titanfall game starting today and we'll be removing the game from subscription services on March 1, 2022, Respawn said. With these updates, we strive to keep the 98 best films of all time updated to reflect any groundbreaking new releases or rediscovered classics. Twelve angry men in a cramped jury deliberation room on a swelteringly hot day. Twelve men debate their verdict on a murder case. All but one have voted, guilty, and they seem to believe it's an open and shut case. This 18-year-old boy yelled that he would murder his father. A witness saw him do it. The boy had recently bought a knife. We will, however, be keeping servers live for the dedicated fanbase still playing and those who own the game and are looking to drop into a match. Even though Titanfall has disappeared from storefronts and will vanish from streaming services next year, the servers are going to stay live so those who already own the title can continue playing it. And Basista's, there's his, background. But the lone holdout is determined to make sure that the case gets the full consideration. And as tensions in the jury room rise and the men begin to change sides, our investment in the truth only gets bigger. Twelve Angry Men is a potent, well-realized morality play that packs a considerable punch. Starring Henry Fonda, Lee J. While we're sure most people who wanted to play Titanfall have already purchased the game. Those who missed the chance to buy the digital version always have used disc copies they can pick up. It's a little bit strange to see Respawn pull Titanfall from storefronts while keeping the servers up and running. Cobb, Ed Begley Director, Sydney Lumet Year, 1957 Runtime, 96 Minutes Rating, PG Rotten Tomatoes Score, 100% 12 Years a Slave, 12 Years a Slave, is the horrifying true story of Solomon Northrup, a free black man and professional violinist. Still, if the game has a decent number of players routinely dropping into multiplayer, Respawn probably didn't want to risk losing consumer goodwill by turning the servers off. What's next for the Titanfall series? After announcing that Titanfall will be delisted, Respawn went on to assure fans that the game won't be forgotten. Rest assured, Titanfall is core to Respawn's DNA and this incredible universe will continue, the studio said. Today in Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends, and in the future. That part is particularly interesting because it suggests there's more Titanfall to come. His life is shattered when he's kidnapped and forced into slavery. Solomon eventually has to accept that in the South, claiming he's free will only attract harsh punishment. Though the original Titanfall and its sequel have garnered a sizable fanbase, these days, Respawn's attention is on Apex Legends a free-to-play battle royale title set in the Titanfall universe that is fairly distinct from a gameplay perspective. The success of Apex Legends, and the rise of the battle royale genre as an alternative to traditional FPS games, has prompted some Titanfall fans to assume the series is largely over and that we won't see another Titanfall game in the future. He has to live as a slave, keeping his head down and waiting for the right opportunity to return home. But that opportunity is slow in coming, and in the meantime, Solomon is forced to work on multiple plantations on an involuntary tour of the horrors of the antebellum South. Respawn's statement today possibly suggests otherwise, though it's too vague to say for sure.
Still, it's always possible that Respawn is removing Titanfall from sale because it has something new with the franchise in the works. Until we get confirmation of any such plans, it's probably safe to assume the company is simply removing the game to focus on Apex Legends. We'll let you know if Respawn announces anything major in the future, so stay tuned for more. The film is hard to watch, but it's also gripping, unflinching, and profoundly well acted. Starring Chiwetel Ejiofor, Michael Fassbender, Lupita Nyong'o Director, Steve McQueen Year, 2013 Runtime, 134 Minutes Rating, Our Rotten Tomatoes Score, 95% 2001. A Space Odyssey, 2001. A Space Odyssey, covers the span of human existence, punctuated, and accelerated, by the appearance of mysterious monoliths. From ape men suddenly discovering how to use tools, and using them to kill, to humanity taking to the stars to the possibility of transcending the human form entirely, this movie offers it all. But the most conventional narrative comes in the middle, when we follow a group of astronauts who are having trouble with their faulty but self-aware computer, HAL 9000. A patient, icy study in evolution, technology, and the soul, 2001. A space odyssey, is meditative and extraordinary. Starring, Keir Dullia, Gary Lockwood, William Sylvester Director, Stanley Kubrick Year, 1968 Runtime, 142 Minutes Rating. G Rotten Tomatoes Score, 92% The Age of Innocence at First Glance, you wouldn't think that Martin Scorsese would be the right director to adapt Edith Wharton. But Scorsese's flawless attention to detail and his interest in distinct social environments with their own unspoken rules and power channels makes Age of Innocence a stunning, faithful look at this romantic drama of manners in 1870s New York high society. Everyone agrees that Newland Archer's engagement to the lovely, innocent May is a perfect match, and Archer himself is perfectly satisfied with it. But then Ellen's older cousin, the scandal-touched and still-married Countess Olenska, arrives, and Archer's allegiance to May, and society's precepts, is suddenly tested. Starring, Daniel Day-Lewis, Michelle Pfeiffer, Winona Ryder director, Martin Scorsese year, 1993 runtime, 139 minutes rating, PG Airplane. Airplane. Masters the zany spoof. Washed-up war pilot Ted Stryker faces his traumatic fear of flying when he impulsively boards a plane to try to make things right with his girlfriend, Elaine. Unfortunately, due to some bad fish, the flight crew and most of the passengers start succumbing to severe food poisoning. Ted will have to land the plane to save the day. But the plot isn't really the point here. It's just the excuse for an endless cascade of hilarious jokes. There are a lot of comedies in the world, but few can even come close to the sheer number of laughs per minute in Airplane, which masterfully uses slapstick, visual puns, absurdism, and satire to make an unforgettable movie. Starring, Robert Hayes, Julie Hagerty, Leslie Nielsen directors, Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, Jerry Zucker Year, 1980 Runtime, 87 Minutes Rating, PG Rotten Tomatoes Score, 97% Alien, in space, no one can hear you scream. The tagline of, Alien, aptly conveys the claustrophobia and isolation of this taut sci-fi horror movie. The Nostromo, a working spaceship with a mostly blue-collar crew, is on its way back to Earth when they investigate a distress signal, and pick up a deadly stowaway. Their ship, and even their bodies, have been infiltrated by an alien species, and it's killing them off one by one. Resourceful officer Ripley must do what she can to preserve the lives of the crew and get back home. Starring, Tom Skerritt, Sigourney Weaver, Veronica Cartwright Director, Ridley Scott Year, 1979 Runtime, 117 Minutes Rating, Our Rotten Tomatoes Score, 98% The Avengers superhero team-up movies really started gelling with, The Avengers, which combines action, long-running comic book-style setups and payoff, ensemble bonding, and snappy banter. The Avengers come together to face down the invasion of Loki and his borrowed Chitori army, but their personality differences and conflicts drive them apart again too quickly for them to get the job done. They have to figure out how to save Earth, but they also have to figure out how to get along without killing each other, even when their styles couldn't be more different. This is an important high watermark in terms of where blockbusters would go from here, and it still remains a satisfying piece of the Marvel Cinematic Universe puzzle. Starring, Robert Downey Jr. Chris Evans, Mark Ruffalo Director, Joss Whedon Year, 2012 Runtime, 143 Minutes Rating, PG-13 Rotten Tomatoes Score, 91% Back to the Future 80s High Schooler Marty McFly crashes into his own family's past when his best friend, scientist Doc Brown, invents a time-traveling DeLorean. Stranded back in the 50s, 
Marty accidentally ruins the key first step in his now teenage parents falling in love. Something he has to scramble to undo before it leads to him fading out of existence permanently. Can he orchestrate his parents' romance and get a younger Doc Brown to fix the time machine he hasn't invented yet? With tons of cleverness and goofy charm, Back to the Future is pure fun. Starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson Director, Robert Zemeckis Year, 1985 Runtime, 116 Minutes Rating, PG Rotten Tomatoes Score, 96% The Best Years of Our Lives Epic But Intimate, The Best Years of Our Lives, explores World War II veterans and their families with sympathy and nuance. The film follows three returning soldiers, all of whom are at different places in their lives. Al Stevenson, a banker and family man. Fred Derry, a young married man who chose the wrong wife. And Homer Parrish, who is coming back with prosthetic hands and no faith in his ability to still be the right choice for the girl he wanted to marry. We also get several delicately handled, realistic love stories, from a heartfelt but possibly star-crossed pair of lovers to a beautiful portrayal of a long-lasting marriage. Starring, Myrna Loy, Frederick March, Dana Andrews Director, William Wyler Year, 1946 Runtime, 172 Minutes Rating, NR Rotten Tomatoes Score, 98% Bicycle Thieves in the Middle of a Severe Economic Depression, Antonio Ricci Desperately Needs a Job to Feed His Family. When the only one he can find requires a bicycle, he and his wife pawn their treasured wedding sheets in order to buy his back, and briefly, everything seems to be going right. But then someone steals his bicycle. Antonio and his young son embark on a desperate quest to find it, but the city seems like an endless maze of dead ends. Finally, Antonio is faced with an enormous moral dilemma. What would he do in order to ensure his family's survival? A sharp, compassionate masterpiece, Bicycle Thieves, finds high drama on the streets of Rome. Starring, Lomberto Majorani, Enzo Staiola, Linella Carell Director, Vittorio De Sica Year, 1948 Runtime, 89 Minutes Rating, NR Rotten Tomatoes Score, 98% The Big Lebowski A classic noir plot meets the transcendentally chill slacker stoner. The Dude, in the cult classic, The Big Lebowski. When the dude gets hassled by some men who mistake him for millionaire Jeffrey Lebowski, the dude's real name, his favorite rug gets ruined. He wants it replaced, so he seeks out the other Lebowski, which gets him and his friends, angry war vet Walter and sweet, spacey Donnie, entangled in a conspiracy involving Lebowski's missing wife, a ransom demand, an adult film director, and a group of criminal nihilists. Starring Jeff Bridges, John Goodman, Julian Moore Director, Joel Cohen Year, 1998 Runtime, 117 Minutes Rating, R Rotten Tomatoes Score, 83% Black Panther Wakanda is an African nation that, thanks to their supply of vibranium, basically a magical metal, has never suffered through slavery or colonization. Instead, with their vibranium-enhanced technology, they're a futuristic utopia that has chosen to shield themselves from the outside world. But when it's time for T'Challa to become king, he has to reconsider his country's isolation, and reckon with it in the form of his American-raised cousin, who has come to contest the throne so he can use Wakanda to start a bloody worldwide revolution. T'Challa must seize back power and defend Wakanda from his cousin's rule. A gorgeous combination of Afrofuturism production design and Shakespearean conflict, Black Panther, is a major Marvel movie, and a milestone of mainstream black cinema. Starring, Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Lupita Nyong'o Director, Ryan Coogler Year, 2018 Runtime, 134 Minutes Rating, PG-13 Rotten Tomatoes Score, 96% Blade Runner in the Future, Highly Advanced Androids, Physically Indistinguishable from Humans, Work on Distant Space Colonies. On Earth, these, replicants, are identified and destroyed by, Blade Runners, who are experts at administering complex psychological tests that give the replicants away. Deckard, a jaded former Blade Runner, is recruited to track down and terminate four specific replicants, recent escapees. In this fusion of science fiction and noir, Deckard is drawn into a complex thriller plot that will ultimately test his certainties. We also follow the charismatic revolutionary replicant Roy and his friends as they struggle to find a solution. Blade Runner is dark, philosophical, and gripping. Starring, Harrison Ford, Rutger Hauer, Sean Young Director. Ridley Scott Year, 1982 Runtime, 117 Minutes, Varies by Version, Rating, R Rotten Tomatoes Score, 
90% Bonnie and Clyde Depression Era Outlaw Couple Bonnie and Clyde Rob Banks. They're breaking the law, but the intensity of their love story and the hypnotic pull of their ennui makes them as attractive as they are compelling. But as their fame grows and their robberies get bloodier, horrific as well as anarchic, they inevitably draw more attention from the police, who start to close in on them. Their options are dwindling, and they're running out of time. This stylish movie and its antiheroes were a major game-changer for American cinema in the 60s. Starring Warren Beatty, Faye Dunaway, Michael J. Pollard Director, Arthur Penn Year, 1967 Runtime, 111 Minutes Rating. Are the Bridge on the River Kwai Unconventional War Epic? The Bridge on the River Kwai takes a gritty, complex look at what happens when prisoners at a Japanese POW camp are tasked with building a railway bridge. At first, Lieutenant Colonel Nicholson suffers through prolonged confinement in a punishment hot box rather than cooperate. But when the camp's commander, Colonel Saito, finally agrees to his demands, Nicholson becomes obsessed with seeing the bridge project through. His attachment to the idea of a concrete legacy makes him overlook the tactical advantage he's handing over to the enemy, resulting in a tense tragedy of hubris and conflicting worldviews. Starring, William Holden, Alec Guinness, Sesu Hayakawa Director, David Lean Year, 1957 Runtime, 161 Minutes Rating. P.G. Casablanca Years ago, Rick and Ilsa had a passionate love affair. Now he owns a nightclub in Casablanca, where people frantically looking for travel papers exist alongside Vichy officials, and tries not to get involved. But Ilsa comes back to his life, this time with a husband, the noble Victor Laszlo, a major leader in the resistance and a man who could be crucial in turning the tide of the war. As all the old feelings between Rick and Ilsa rise back up to the surface, danger presses in around them, forcing them to make life-defining choices. Casablanca gives us one of the best, and most bittersweet, movie love stories, and it combines that emotion with a smart script full of sharp and memorable dialogue. Starring Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, Paul Henry Director, Michael Curtis Year, 1942 Runtime, 102 Minutes Rating, PG Casino Royale Admittedly. Picking a favorite James Bond movie is a tricky proposition. But the series is one of the most enduring pieces of modern pop culture, and, Casino Royale, rebooted and reinvigorated it in a fashion that earns this entry a place on our list. Here, we see James Bond near the start of his career, a hard-edged brawler who doesn't care if his martini is shaken or stirred. Along with Treasury agent Vesper Lind, he's assigned to take down a terrorist bankroller known as Le Chiffre. This turns out to be one of the grittiest and most emotionally intense Bond films, and it also acts as his origin story. Starring, Daniel Craig, Ava Green, Mads Mikkelsen Director, Martin Campbell Year, 2006 Runtime, 144 Minutes Rating, PG-13 Chinatown Private Eye Jake Giddis takes on an ordinary case. Follow Evelyn Mulray's husband and find out if he's having an affair. But the woman who hired him was an imposter, and the actions Giddis takes lead to Mulray's death. Now Giddis gets drawn into the real Evelyn's life and a large-scale conspiracy involving the city's water supply. Everything in Los Angeles comes down to money, and Giddis soon relearns exactly how hard it is to go up against rich men with power. Especially when, as with the superficially affable Noah Cross, they're even more corrupt and sinister than he'd imagined. Chinatown is sharply written and full of dark but poetic insights into the human condition and certain lines and images in it have become a permanent part of pop culture. Starring, Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway, John Huston Director, Roman Polanski Year, 1974 Runtime, 131 Minutes Rating, Our Citizen Kane, Rosebud. That's the last, enigmatic word of tycoon Charles Foster Kane. Looking to find an explanation, a reporter traces the course of Kane's life, interviewing his former friends and lovers in the hope of unlocking his psychology. Through his investigation, we retrace Kane's rise to power, especially his development of a newspaper empire that changed the American press forever, and see how he eventually, inevitably destroyed his relationships and the people in his life. One of the classic American tragedies, Citizen Kane, also pioneered filmmaking techniques that make it both distinctive and timeless. Starring, Orson Welles, Joseph Cotton, Ruth Warwick Director, Orson Welles Year, 1941 Runtime. 119 minutes rating. PG Clueless Jane Austen's, Emma, gets a lively, candy-colored update at a 90s Beverly Hills high school. Bubbly Cher Horowitz is pretty, popular, and rich, and she's confident that she knows best. 
she decides to elevate one of her classmates to her level of popularity and do some matchmaking, but all her good intentions keep backfiring. As she works to correct her mistakes, she also discovers a few things about herself, and her own heart. Immensely quotable and fun, Clueless is a charming coming-of-age story, a clever Austinian remake, a portrait of a time and place, and a sweet romantic comedy. Who could ask for more? Starring Alicia Silverstone, Stacey Dash, Brittany Murphy Director, Amy Heckerling Year, 1995 Runtime, 97 Minutes Rating, PG-13 The Dark Knight The second film of Christopher Nolan's gritty, grounded Batman trilogy is even darker and more epic than the first, especially since it features the iconic performance of Heath Ledger as the Joker. While Batman's presence might deter some of the garden-variety criminals, it started to inspire the more grandiose ones. Enter the Joker. The mob hires him to kill Batman, but his aspirations are bigger than that. He wants to unleash chaos on Gotham and prove his own nihilism is all there is. Add crusading district attorney Harvey Dent, genius inventor Lucius Fox, loyal butler Alfred, idealistic Rachel Dawes, and diligent Jim Gordon, and you get a tense film that's dense with conflict, action, and philosophy. Starring, Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Heath Ledger director, Christopher Nolan Year, 2008 runtime, 152 minutes rating. PG-13 The Day the Earth Stood Still A Cold War Era Plea for Peace. The Day the Earth Stood Still, takes us to the moment when a spaceship lands in Washington, D.C. after his arrival swerves into violence. The alien Klaatu disguises himself as human to get a better sense of who we really are. He befriends a young woman and her son, and their decency shows him the best of humanity even as the tour they give him shows Earth's problems, too. Klaatu needs to give his message to Earth part inspirational speech and part dire warning. But there is, of course, no guarantee that anyone will listen. Starring Michael Rennie, Patricia Neal, Hugh Marlowe Director, Robert Wise Year, 1951 Runtime, 92 Minutes Rating, G Die Hard It's Christmas, and it seems like the time to make things right, so NYPD Detective John McClain goes to Los Angeles to see his estranged wife, but his plans go out the window when her company Christmas party is interrupted by a terrorist heist that seizes control of the whole building. Now John has to do whatever he can to evade capture and put a stop to Hans Gruber and his crew, leading to an elaborate cat and mouse game. Laugh out loud lines, tense and rewarding action sequences, and great characterization make it unsurprising that this led to a major franchise. Starring Bruce Willis, Alan Rickman, Alexander Godunov director, John McTiernan year, 1988 runtime, 132 minutes rating. Our Do the Right Thing, Do the Right Thing, is lively and powerful, and the issues at its core are still regrettably timely. During a hot summer in Mookie's part of Brooklyn, tensions and tempers are running high. The Wall of Fame at Sal's Pizzeria becomes an unlikely flashpoint. Sal, Italian-American himself, only puts up photos of Italian-American celebrities. But it's a predominantly black neighborhood, and characters like Buggin' Out and Radio Raheem are getting tired of not seeing black faces on the wall. It could be a small conflict, but then the police break it up, leading to Radio Raheem's death, followed by an eruption of outrage and violence. Do the Right Thing has a fascinating, and controversial, ambiguity about the role of violence in social reform. Starring Spike Lee, Danny Aiello, Ossie Davis Director, Spike Lee Year, 1989 Runtime, 120 Minutes Rating. Our Dr. Strangelove a wild, perfectly executed satire on Cold War paranoia and an angry warning about what it might lead to, Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, kicks off when a rogue American general orders a nuclear attack on the Soviet Union, all because he's worried about the unspeakable danger of water fluoridation. When the Pentagon frantically tries to figure out how to recall the attack, they learn that the Soviets have set up a doomsday machine that will effectively trigger worldwide nuclear devastation if any part of the USSR is hit. Now they're not just worried about heating up the Cold War, they're worried about the impending end of the world. Starring Peter Sellers, George C. Scott, Sterling Hayden Director, Stanley Kubrick Year, 1964 Runtime, 94 Minutes Rating, PG Double Indemnity Insurance Salesman Walter Neff shares a murder confession with his boss. Entranced both by the seductive Phyllis Dietrichson and the prospect of using his insurance knowledge to play the game against the company for once, Walter agrees to help Phyllis kill her husband. They'll make it look like an accident, like he's fallen off a train, it pays double.
but tiny holes start to appear in the plan once it's done, and they widen out until everything is a dark pit for Walter to fall into. This is noir at its best. Smart, bleak, and quotable. Starring Fred McMurray, Barbara Stanwyck, Edward G. Robinson Director, Billy Wilder Year, 1944 Runtime, 107 Minutes Rating, NRET The extraterrestrial ten-year-old Elliot gets the surprise of his life when he finds an alien hiding out near his house. The peaceful, gangly creature, dubbed E.T., quickly becomes Elliot's friend as Elliot takes on the challenge of hiding and protecting him. But E.T. needs to return home. His health is failing, and because of the psychic link between them, Elliot is dying too. They need to get him to safety even as the government agents hunting E.T. close in on them, and it all leads to one of the most magical, wonder-filled family films ever. Starring, D. Wallace, Henry Thomas, Peter Coyote Director, Steven Spielberg Year, 1982 Runtime, 114 Minutes Rating, P.G. The Exorcist After Playing with a Ouija Board, Regan, a young girl in a quiet Georgetown neighborhood, starts behaving erratically, even aggressively. Her frightened mother brings in a priest with a psychiatric background, and he discovers that Regan's seeming possession is no illusion. The exorcism becomes a high-stakes, horrifying battle of wills and test of faith. Skin-crawling sequences abound here. The Exorcist is deservedly considered one of the scariest films ever made. Starring, Ellen Burstyn, Jason Miller, Linda Blair Director, William Friedkin Year, 1973 Runtime, 121 Minutes Rating. Our Fantasia, Fantasia, is an unconventional film, especially when you look at it as a children's movie, but it's nonetheless enthralling. This Disney movie pairs animated sequences, sometimes fantastical, sometimes abstract, but always beautifully drawn, with stirring performances of a selection of classical music. The visuals are stunning enough to make anyone a devoted cinephile, and the way they embody and interact with the orchestra practically acts as a compressed music appreciation class. Fantasia, may be hard to describe, but it's impossible to forget. Starring, Leopold Stokowki, Deems Taylor Directors, Samuel Armstrong, James Alger, Bill Roberts, Paul Satterfield, Ben Sharpstein, David D. Hand, Hamilton Lusk, Jim Handley, Ford Beebe, T. He, Norman Ferguson, Wilfred Jackson Year, 1940 Runtime, 126 Minutes Rating. G. Fargo heavily pregnant Chief Marge Gunderson investigates a string of murders in snowy, remote Fargo, where Minnesota accents and quirkiness abound, but don't prevent scheming and brutality. The trouble stems mostly from nebbish Jerry Lundgaard, who needs cash so badly that he arranges his own wife's kidnapping in the hope that her father, who won't lend Jerry any money, will pay the ransom. But nothing goes according to plan, and the situation escalates into darkly comedic violence. Throughout it all, the down-to-earth Marge tries to sort through the chaos. Starring, Francis McDormand, William H. Macy, Steve Buscemi Director, Joel Cohen Year, 1996 Runtime, 98 Minutes Rating. Our Get Out, Get Out, offers both exquisite dread and blistering social critique, and it kick-started a new and invigorating wave of black horror. A young black man named Chris Washington accompanies his white girlfriend, Rose Armitage, on her visit to her parents, a high-stakes relationship milestone that gains extra attention from the not-so-subtle racism he encounters from her family. But the unsettling undercurrents soon get even deeper and stranger. Rose's mother hypnotizes him, the maid silently cries while professing how happy she is, and a camera flash triggers a breakdown in the only other black man at an upscale party. The Armitages and their friends have plans for Chris, and he's starting to know it, but he may not be able to get out in time. Starring Daniel Kaluuya, Allison Williams, Bradley Whitford Director, Jordan Peele Year, 2017 Runtime, 104 Minutes Rating. Are the Godfather Don Vito Corleone is the Godfather of his crime family, a dignified and effortlessly powerful man who can get seemingly anything done. Michael is his youngest son, a World War II hero with a solid reputation. He loves his family, but he's never had anything to do with their business. But when his father is shot, Michael's loyalty to the family overpowers everything else. He refuses to maintain his innocent place on the sidelines and instead gets involved directly, and, over time, proves that his cool-headed, icily ruthless approach may help him inherit the throne. Both a mafia movie and a family saga, this is an irresistible classic. The Godfather Part 2 is also a standout. Starring Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan director, 
Francis Ford Coppola Year, 1972 Runtime, 177 Minutes Rating. R. Gosford Park, Gosford Park, takes the traditional country house murder mystery and gives it new teeth and plenty of insight. When tycoon William McCordell is murdered over the course of a fraught weekend, his family, guests, and servants are all suspects. His death acts as a catalyst to explore all the seething resentment and secret frustrations that hide just beneath the surface of the elegant English drawing room, and the movie is particularly good at examining the upstairs-downstairs relationships and tensions between the wealthy and their servants. The movie's clever plotting is aided by biting satire, nuanced character observations, and a strong sense of place. Starring, Eileen Atkins, Bob Balaban, Alan Bates Director, Robert Altman Year, 2001 Runtime, 137 Minutes Rating. Our Groundhog Day Phil, a misanthropic jerk of a TV weatherman, has to cover an annual Groundhog Day festival, surrounded by the folksiness and ordinary people he despises. That premise alone would make a good movie. But, Groundhog Day, takes it to the next level. It makes Phil live the day over again. And again. And again. He's stuck in a time loop, and no matter what he does, he can't seem to break out of it. Even dying doesn't change anything. Phil's losing his mind, but the answer to his problems might be closer than he thinks. Starring, Bill Murray, Andy McDowell, Chris Elliott Director, Harold Ramis Year, 1993 Runtime, 101 Minutes Rating. PG Halloween Michael Myers spent years locked away for his sister's murder, but now he's escaped, and he's come back to his pleasant little suburban hometown. And before Halloween night is over, babysitter Lori Strode and her friends will cross his path. With eerie effectiveness and an almost radical simplicity, Halloween boils terror down to its essence. There's someone out there in the dark. Add in a chilling and memorable score, and you have what it takes to set the mold for a whole horror subgenre. Starring, Donald Pleasance, Jamie Lee Curtis, PJ Soul's director, John Carpenter Year, 1978 Runtime, 91 Minutes Rating. R. A. Hard Day's Night The Beatles star as lightly fictionalized versions of themselves in A Hard Day's Night, a film that playfully captures the strange nature of celebrity and a life spent traveling, playing, and recording. This is a low-key hangout movie, studded with great performances of the band's own songs. In between avoiding their overwhelming hordes of fans, they try to look after Paul's cranky and mischievous grandfather, amuse themselves, and turn up in time for a live on-air performance. Lightly funny and well-observed, this is a particular joy for Beatles fans but also just a great movie in its own right. Starring the Beatles, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, Ringo Starr, Wilfred Bramble, Norm Rossington Director, Richard Lester Year, 1964 Runtime, 87 Minutes Rating. G. Heat A career criminal comes up against an equally purpose-driven cop in the moody crime thriller, Heat, the movie that finally let Robert De Niro and Al Pacino share a screen. This is a battle of equal titans. Both Macaulay, the thief, and Hannah, the cop, are smart, serious, and tough and they both have a sense of professionalism that makes us respect them. In fact, they even respect each other. Macaulay is planning one of the biggest robberies the city has ever seen, and Hannah knows it. Who will come out on top? Starring, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer Director, Michael Mann Year, 1995 Runtime, 170 Minutes Rating. Our high and low this tense Japanese crime drama starts with a powerful dilemma. Someone calls demanding a hefty ransom for the return of businessman Kingo Gondo's son, but the kidnapper made a mistake. They grabbed the chauffeur's son instead. Only Gondo can pay the hefty ransom, but if he does, it will mean giving up his fortune and any chance at control of his company. After a high-stakes first half focusing on Gondo's predicament, the story moves to explore the search for the kidnapper. It's a ceaselessly engaging crime film that's also a searching examination of social inequality and dark nights of the soul. Starring, Toshiro Mifune, Tatsuya Nakadai, Kyoko Kagawa Director, Akira Kurosawa Year, 1963 Runtime, 143 Minutes Rating. NR His Girl Friday Ace reporter Hilde Johnson is getting ready to get remarried and leave her job behind forever. Within about five minutes, we completely agree with her ex-husband. She's not cut out for the suburbs. Besides, she and Walter, the ex, are the ones with the crackling chemistry and sexual tension. Walter ropes Hildy into one more job, knowing that it'll be too exciting, and too intricate, to let go. While the two of them uncover the truth and prevent a wrongful execution, Hildy gets closer to accepting that she's still in love with her one-time husband, and her job. Starring, Cary Grant, Rosalind Russell, Ralph Bellamy Director, Howard Hawksier, 1940 Runtime, 92 Minutes Rating. 
NR in the Heat of the Night, in the Heat of the Night, is a classic mystery drama, a story that takes its characters as seriously as it does its crime. One sweltering Mississippi summer, the small town of Sparta sees an unusually high-profile murder, local mover and shaker Philip Colbert. The only two men who can solve the murder are an unusual combination, stubborn, lonely, and racist police chief Gillespie and Sharp, authoritative, and black detective Virgil Tibbs, who's visiting from Philadelphia. Their reluctant partnership takes on unexpected depth as they work their way through a tangle of suspects and a noir-esque mystery. Terrific performances, a strong sense of place, and some iconic lines have made this one last. Starring, Sidney Poitier, Rod Steiger, Warren Oates Director, Norman Jewison Year, 1967 Runtime, 109 Minutes Rating, NR In the Mood for Love, In the Mood for Love, could be the best movie ever made about yearning. Chow Mo Wan and Su Li Shen are neighbors, each of them is married, and each quietly lonely. They gradually discover that they have something else in common, too. Chow's wife is sleeping with Su's husband. This strange connection creates a charge between the two of them, and they start gravitating toward each other, falling in love. But despite the depth of their feelings, there may not be a way for them to have a happy ending. Gorgeously shot and brilliantly playing with what's unspoken and undone, In the Mood for Love, is a haunting film. Starring, Maggie Chung, Tony Leung, Su Ping Lam Director, Wong Kar Wai Year, 2000 Runtime, 98 Minutes Rating. PG It Happened One Night Ellie's elopement has gone horribly wrong. Her father thinks her new husband is only in it for the money, he's right, and he wants to keep them apart. The rebellious Ellie decides to get back to her husband by hook or by crook, and in the process, she meets a between-jobs reporter, Peter, who sees her story as an opportunity to restart his career. They start traveling together, but during all their madcap misadventures, they start falling in love. Soon, the flimsy, wall of Jericho, sheet separating the beds in their shared room won't be enough to keep them apart. Starring, Clark Gable, Claudette Colbert, Walter Connolly Director, Frank Capra Year, 1934 Runtime, 105 Minutes Rating, NR It's a Wonderful Life A Good Son, A Good Brother, and A Good Husband, George Bailey always chose to put other people's happiness before his own desire for adventure especially when it meant keeping his small town of Bedford Falls from falling completely into the hands of the wealthy, despicable Mr. Potter. But one fateful Christmas Eve, everything comes crashing down, plunging George into despair and making him think it'd be better if he'd never been born. His guardian angel, Clarence, begs to differ, and gives him a tour of a George Les Bedford Falls to drive the point home. Starring, James Stewart, Donna Reed, Lionel Barrymore Director, Frank Capra Year, 1946 Runtime, 131 minutes rating. PG Jaws pitch perfect horror, suspense, and adventure. Jaws introduces viewers to a terrifying reason not to go in the water. A great white shark has started terrorizing the small town of Amity. With the tourist season in full swing and the profitable 4th of July weekend right on the horizon, the mayor is eager to bury it and believe the trouble is over. But nothing could be further from the truth, and eventually Chief Martin Brody, researcher Matt Hooper, and veteran shark hunter Quint have to hunt the shark down themselves, or die trying. Jaws offers everything you could want in a summer thriller. Starring, Roy Scheider, Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfuss Director, Steven Spielberg Year, 1975 Runtime, 124 Minutes Rating. PGLA Confidential in 1950s Los Angeles, everything is supposed to be square-jawed righteousness, glamorous movie stars, and prosperity. But in, LA Confidential, we see the truth. We follow three LAPD detectives, principled and deeply ambitious Ed Exley, fame-chasing Jack Vincennes, and blunt instrument Bud White, as they unravel a conspiracy involving corruption, pornography, prostitution, murder, drug deals, and high-profile cover-ups. In the process, lives are shaken up beyond repair, and all three men have to step out of the boxes that have defined them. With a complex plot and fantastic acting and characterization, L.A. Confidential, is one of the indispensable neo-noirs. Starring, Kevin Spacey, Russell Crowe, Guy Pearce Director, Curtis Hansen Year, 1997 Runtime, 138 Minutes Rating. R. Lawrence of Arabia During World War I, T. E. Lawrence finds himself acting as liaison between the British Army and the various factions in Arabia. He helps get them additional resources to battle the Turks, and he urges the different tribes to unify for greater strength. He fits the role and begins to actually feel at home, but the intensity of the war, especially his knowledge of his own newly discovered enjoyment of violence, 
and his peripheral knowledge of the British Empire's plans for the future start to cast a shadow over all his successes. Simultaneously a beautifully shot war epic and a charismatic biography, Lawrence of Arabia, creates an unforgettable experience. Starring Peter O'Toole, Alec Guinness, Omar Sharif Director, David Lean Year, 1962 Runtime, 227 Minutes Rating, PG The Lion King Like a Cheerier, Hamlet, with Lions, Disney's The Lion King, is one of the biggest animated films ever, and with good reason. It tells the story of Simba, whose carefree life as a lion cub prince is shattered when his beloved father dies. Simba blames himself and flees into the wilderness, turning his back on power, and unknowingly allowing his scheming uncle Scar, who has orchestrated it all, to take control. But sooner or later, Simba will have to come home. The storytelling is strong, the animation is beautiful, and the songs run the gamut from clever to stunning. Starring Matthew Broderick, Jeremy Irons, James Earl Jones Directors, Roger Allers and Rob Minkoff Year, 1994 Runtime, 88 Minutes Rating, G. The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring An epic fantasy trilogy begins here, as Hobbit Frodo Baggins agrees to the difficult, perhaps impossible, task of taking the powerful One Ring to Mount Doom to be destroyed. If the disembodied but sinister Sauron and his forces locate it first, all will be lost. Luckily, Frodo has a circle of companions, the titular Fellowship of the Ring, drawn from the various kingdoms of Middle-earth. Their skills can help protect Frodo, and their friendship can help sustain him, unless the corrupting influence of the Ring leads them to want it for themselves. Starring Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, Viggo Mortensen Director, Peter Jackson Year, 2001 Runtime, 178 minutes rating, PG 13M, M, straddles the line between horror and suspense, a haunting look at one man's guilt and sense of being hunted. That guilt is richly deserved. Hans Beckert kills children. We never see it on camera, but what we do see, like a little girl's balloon tangled in telephone lines, is striking and gut-wrenching. He faces a surprising enemy when the street criminals and gangsters of the city organize against him determined to put an end to his murders so the police presence in the area will die down. Psychologically rich, well acted, and with a great early use of sound, M, leaves a lasting impact. Starring, Peter Lorre, Otto Wernick, Gustav Grungen's director, Fritz Lang Year, 1931 runtime, 111 minutes rating, NR Mad Max, Fury Road in a ravaged post-apocalyptic landscape, water and gasoline mean everything, and people are just commodities. One moment, Max is free. The next, he's the property of dictator Amorton Joe. But surprisingly, he gets swept up in the pre-orchestrated escape of Joe's wives, who are aided by the tenacious imperator Furiosa. Furiosa grew up outside of Joe's control, in a green place that she remembers as paradise. She wants to lead them to freedom there, but it means she and Max will first have to fight, and drive, their way through endless horrors and pitched battles. Gorgeously shot and full of perfectly executed practical stunt work, Mad Max, Fury Road, is a no-holds-barred action movie that also feels like part of an epic. Starring, Tom Hardy, Charlize Theron, Nicholas Holt Director, George Miller Year, 2015 Runtime, 120 Minutes Rating, Are the Maltese Falcon hard-boiled Private I Sam Spade's partner, Archer, is murdered after taking on a seemingly mundane case. Ruth Wonderly, who hired him, reveals herself to really be a woman named Brigid O'Shaughnessy. She's not on the up and up, but she promises she's innocent. Spade can't trust her, but he also can't help starting to fall for her as he tries to solve his partner's murder. He follows the clues to discover a group of criminals all struggling to get hold of the legendary Maltese Falcon, a priceless jewel-encrusted bird sculpture. With a legendarily ruthless detective and some unusually charismatic, if dangerous, criminals and with more than its fair share of memorable dialogue, the Maltese Falcon, soars high. Starring, Humphrey Bogart, Mary Astor, Gladys George Director, John Huston Year, 1941 Runtime, 101 Minutes Rating, NR The Matrix alienated hacker Neo learns that the, real world, is actually a simulation known as The Matrix. In reality, artificial intelligence has taken over and uses humans as organic batteries, lulling them into submission with the shared virtual reality. Outside the simulation, life is much grimmer, but when Neo and his allies re-enter the Matrix, their knowledge of its coding lets them do seemingly impossible things. 
that helps equip them to fight back against the machines, especially the deadly, Agent Smith. The Matrix combines a traditional heroic narrative with a sense of disaffected cool and some awesome special effects. Starring Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, Carrie Ann Moss Director, The Wachowskis Year, 1999 Runtime, 136 Minutes Rating, Our Meek's Cutoff, Meek's Cutoff, is a love it or hate it movie, but for those who love it, this slow, chilly, and difficult journey on an old west wagon train is really something special. The story follows a group of families on the Oregon Trail. It's a grueling journey, and as they start running out of food and water, tensions rise, and so do uncertainties. Is their guide reliable, or has he led them into uncharted wilderness? Will the indigenous man they've captured fulfill his promise to lead them to water, or has the relationship between them already turned so sour that he'll lead them to death instead? The film plunges you into these ambiguities and comes up with no easy answers. Starring, Michelle Williams, Bruce Greenwood, Shirley Henderson Director, Kelly Reichardt Year, 2010 Runtime, 104 Minutes Rating. PG Memento insurance investigator Leonard Shelby is injured in the same attack that killed his wife. Now Leonard can't form any new long-term memories, so whatever he experiences only stays with him for a brief period. His pain over his wife, however, is forever fresh, and he's determined to avenge her death. Despite his amnesia, he searches for the truth, guided only by his own notes, including some tattooed on his skin, and strategically used Polaroids. To duplicate Leonard's condition, the film runs in a mind-bending reverse chronological order. We see a scene, and, like Leonard, we have no idea what came before it until the next segment comes along. The mystery we unearth as the story goes on is chilling and surprising. Starring, Guy Pearce, Carrie Ann Moss, Joe Pantoliano Director, Christopher Nolan Year, 2000 Runtime, 113 Minutes Rating, Our Metropolis, Metropolis, is one of the foundational science fiction movies. Set in a harshly divided future where businesses and the idle rich live in a mechanized paradise fueled by the constant labor of an underclass, this silent film chronicles one young man's social awakening. Frieder does nothing, until he meets Maria, a worker who introduces him to the horrors that prop up his shallow world. The two of them become the center of both a massive revolution and an attempt to squash it at all costs. There are several different cuts of Metropolis, with the longer ones adding characters and subplots but essentially every version offers the same inventiveness, theatricality, and vital anger at injustice. Starring, Alfred Abel, Gustav Froelich, Rudolf Klein-Rog director, Fritz Lang Year, 1927 runtime, 153 minutes rating. And our mission. Impossible when a high-stakes mission goes horribly wrong. Impossible missions force agent Ethan Hunt is out in the cold. Suspected of being a mole and hunted by his own organization. He has to somehow clear his name and find the truth, and the only people he can work with are other disavowed former agents. His quest not only results in some of the most iconic stunts ever filmed, it also kicks off one of the most enjoyable franchises around. The last factor has only added to its appeal over the years, proving its cultural significance and definite greatness. Starring, Tom Cruise, John Voight, Emmanuel Bayert Director, Brian De Palma Year, 1996 Runtime, 110 minutes rating, PG-13 Mr. Hulot's holiday director Jacques Tati's recurring character Monsieur Hulot makes his debut in this gentle French comedy. Hulot is kind and quietly charming, but his awkwardness and knack for stumbling into gaffes and surreal situations make his simple seaside vacation a little less than relaxing. Hulot also serves as our viewpoint character into the rest of the resort, leading to a loosely structured film where we observe the hotel as a whole in what's basically a series of vignettes, satirical, whimsical, poignant, or all of the above. Later Hulo films might be more ambitious, but this one is just purely lovable and fun. Starring, Jacques Tati, Natalie Pasco, Micheline Rolla Director, Jacques Tati Year, 1953 Runtime, 98 Minutes Rating, and our modern times Charlie Chaplin's blend of physical comedy, poignancy, and cutting satire may reach its apex in the silent film, Modern Times. Here, his recurring character the Tramp goes through the ringer of a modern, industrialized society all but designed to chew up the poor, the defenseless, and the eccentric. Despite constant setbacks, he finds love with, the Gaiman, a poor but determined and lively young woman. Their story has some real emotion to it but it's just the grounding for a spectacularly funny movie where factory owners try to mechanize workers' lunch breaks and the tramp confidently, 
gracefully roller skates around a department store without noticing he's constantly in danger of plunging to his death. Starring Charlie Chaplin, Paulette Goddard, Henry Bergman Director, Charlie Chaplin Year, 1936 Runtime, 87 Minutes Rating, G Monsoon Wedding, Monsoon Wedding, wastes no time plunging us into its huge cast of characters. They're all orbiting around the wedding of Aditi and Hemant, which is doubling as a kind of massive family reunion where conflicts, secrets, money problems, and old loves will all flare up. Aditi and Hemant, meanwhile, hardly know each other, and are stealing opportunities in the lead-up to the ceremony in order to make sure they can really build a life together. The film is busy, but its sincere investment in its characters ensures that we care about every outcome. It's also one of the best portraits of contemporary India. Starring Nasiruddin Shah, Lilit Dubey, Shafali Shah Director, Mira Nair Year, 2001 Runtime, 113 Minutes Rating, R Rotten Tomatoes Score, 95% Moonlight, Moonlight, is the coming-of-age story of Chiron, who grows up in Miami and has to gradually learn how to fit into a world that's often rigged against him. He's gay, the love of his life is his childhood friend, Kevin, who winds up being part of both his best and his worst memories, and Black, and his mother is an addict. He finds stability and affection with surrogate family Juan and Teresa, but he can't escape from the knowledge that Juan is his mother's dealer. The film portrays Chiron's life with depth and poignancy, leading to some remarkably beautiful sequences. Starring, Travante Rhodes, Andre Holland, Maher Shala Ali Director, Barry Johnson Year, 2016 Runtime, 111 Minutes Rating, Armel Holland Drive in this eerie, dreamlike film that blurs the line between mystery and horror, an amnesiac woman calling herself Rita tries to uncover her past. She's aided by Betty, a sweet young woman who's come to Los Angeles to start an acting career. Betty and Rita begin to fall in love, but their search for Rita's past undermines their happiness and brings their reality caving in around them. The movie reveals another, much darker version of their lives and love story, and it's up to you to decide how to interpret that intersection, but however you read the movie, its strange sense of dread will stay with you. Starring, Naomi Watts, Laura Elline Herring, Justin Thoreau Director, David Lynch Year, 2001 Runtime, 146 Minutes Rating, Are the Night of the Hunter in this dark, expressionistic crime drama, Robert Mitchum plays the menacing Reverend Harry Powell, who sports iconic love, hate tattoos on his fingers. When he learns an executed bank robber left his money hidden with his family, Powell seeks out and marries the man's widow, but he never wins the trust of her young son, who, along with his sister, knows the secret location of the money. Powell can't hide his sinister side for long, and soon, the two children are forced to flee and take refuge with a courageous old woman. But that doesn't mean Powell has stopped hunting them. Over the years, this gripping, stylized thriller slowly has turned into an all-time classic. Starring, Robert Mitchum, Shelley Winters, Lillian Gish Director, Charles Lawton Year, 1955 Runtime, 92 Minutes Rating, NR Night of the Living Dead Johnny and Barbara make the drive to visit their father's grave. Cemeteries make Barbara jumpy, and Johnny teases her about it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. It's a joke until it's not. Corpses are coming back to life, shambling and dead-eyed and hungry for flesh. Night of the Living Dead, defined how we think about zombie movies and it remains a stripped-down and intense chiller with powerful jolts of meaning and social relevance. Its gripping narrative focuses on how the handful of survivors led by the resourceful Ben can possibly make it through the night, which makes it a riveting survival thriller. Starring, Dwayne Jones, Judith O.D., Carl Hardman Director, George A. Romero Year, 1968 Runtime, 96 Minutes Rating, N.R. Pan's Labyrinth in Francoist Spain, young Ophelia and her mother move into their new home. Her fragile mother has remarried the brutal, sadistic Captain Vidal. Ophelia ventures into a darkly fantastical world that parallels the horrors around her so aptly that it may only be in her imagination. She meets a fawn, who tells her that she's the princess of the underworld. She can return home, but first she has to complete certain tasks. As Ophelia progresses further in this dark and often horrifying fairy tale, the situation in her real life deteriorates. Starring, Ivana Baccaro, Sergi Lopez, Maribel Verdu Director, Guillermo del Toro Year, 2006 Runtime, 119 Minutes Rating. Our Parasite You've Never Seen a Dark Comedy as Thrilling and Unpredictable as Parasite. The close-knit but financially struggling Kim family finds an unusual way to make ends meet. 
Using lies and some down and dirty tricks, they all secure jobs with the wealthy Park family, who doesn't know that their chauffeur, housekeeper, art therapist, and tutor are all related. But what starts off as a biting social satire and unsettling quasi-thriller takes an abrupt swerve when the park's former housekeeper comes back. Genre-defying, perfectly plotted, innovative, and full of jaw-dropping twists and turns, Parasite deservedly won an Academy Award for Best Picture. Starring Song Kong Ho, Choi Woo Shik, Lee Sun Ki and director, Bong Joon Ho Year, 2019 runtime, 132 minutes rating. Are the Philadelphia story Tracy Lord's marriage to the dapper? upper-class C.K. Dexter Haven fell apart in a spectacular fashion. She's determined that her upcoming wedding will be the pinnacle of respectability, which sounds like it might be a boring assignment for sharp, sardonic reporter Mike to cover for the society pages. But things start crackling when Mike brings Dexter back into the mix. Despite her best intentions, not to mention the looming wedding, Tracy finds herself drawn to both Mike and her ex-husband. Plenty of lively chemistry and witty repartee makes this classic an incredibly charming romantic comedy. Starring, Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn, James Stewart Director, George Cukor Year, 1940 Runtime, 112 Minutes Rating, NR Planet of the Apes and Planet of the Apes, cryogenically frozen astronauts wake up to find their ship crashed, and then the news gets worse. They're stuck on a world where apes are the dominant species and humans are considered dangerous wild animals. One astronaut, the tough and cynical Taylor, is eventually able to get through to his ape captors and convince some of them that he's more than just a beast, but this kicks off a trial and accusations of blasphemy, putting both Taylor and his ape allies in danger. Planet of the Apes, is a keeper. A thought-provoking film with a notably great ending. Starring, Charlton Heston, Roddy McDowell, Kim Hunter director, Franklin J. Schaffner year, 1968 runtime, 112 minutes rating. G Portrait of a Lady on Fire in 18th Century France, independent portrait painter Marianne accepts an unusual job. Paint Eloise, a young lady whose would-be Milanese fiancé wants a portrait, but under no circumstances tell the reluctant to marry Eloise that's what she's doing. The secret eventually unravels, and Eloise winds up only insisting that Marianne try to really capture her as she is. Over the course of a solitary week together, posing and painting and talking, the two fall in love, even as they know that once the portrait is done, their time together will end. Breathtaking, romantic, and achingly bittersweet, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, is one for the ages. Starring, Noé Mie Merlant, Adele Henel, Luana Badrami Director, Celine Chamayir, 2019 Runtime, 120 Minutes Rating. Are the Princess Bride, the Princess Bride, gently lampoons fairy tales, but it also works as a gorgeous, funny, and romantic one in its own right. Buttercup and Wesley are deeply in love, but when Wesley leaves to try to make his fortune, his ship is attacked by pirates and he's presumed dead. Five years later, a still grief-stricken Buttercup has numbly agreed to marry the vile Prince Humperdinck, but the road to her wedding becomes bumpy when you fold in a revenge-seeking swordsman, a six-fingered man, rodents of unusual size, a duel of poisoned goblets, and, of course, the mysterious dread pirate Roberts, a masked man who seems to hold quite the grudge about Buttercup marrying Humperdinck. Starring, Carrie Elwes, Robin Wright, Mandy Patinkin Director, Rob Reiner Year, 1987 Runtime, 98 Minutes Rating, PG Psycho Norman Bates, who runs the out-of-the-way Bates Motel, is a shy, awkward young man, one you might suspect is too controlled by his mother. But when Secretary Marion Crane impulsively steals a large sum of money and has to go on the run, her life collides with Norman's in a way that will reveal all kinds of things about Norman and his mother. The psychological twists in Psycho are dated now, but the movie is still a suspenseful masterpiece with strong performances and an unusual, daring structure. And the famous shower scene deserves every bit of its praise. Starring, Anthony Perkins, Vera Miles, Janet Lee Director, Alfred Hitchcock Year, 1960 Runtime, 109 Minutes Rating. Our Pulp Fiction multiple stories collide in this violent, funny, and original crime movie. Jules and Vincent are bantering, lightly philosophical hitmen, soldiers of crime boss Marcellus Wallace. Mia is Marcellus's wife, whom Vincent has to entertain while Marcellus is out of town. Butch is a past his prime boxer who incurs Marcellus's wrath when he refuses to throw one of his fights. Pumpkin and Honey Bunny are two lovey de stick stickup artists who decide to hold up a diner. Over the course of the movie, the characters will collide with each other and hit various crisis points of both conscience and survival. The movie has some serious stakes, but it's also a wild, fun ride with unexpected banter, a dance sequence, and plenty of famous scenes. Starring, 
John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman Director. Quentin Tarantino Year, 1994 Runtime, 154 Minutes Rating. Our Rear Window When Professional Photographer Jeff Breaks His Leg, He's Housebound in His Manhattan Apartment, So He Takes Advantage of the Only View He Has Left, A Window That Looks Out Into a Shared Courtyard. Voyeurism satisfies some of his curiosity, until he witnesses what he thinks is a murder and a cover-up. Across the courtyard, a man named Thorwald may have just killed his wife and buried her in the garden, and Jeff may be the only person who can prove it. With the help of his fiancée, Lisa, whose newly revealed adventurous streak surprises and attracts him, he has to figure out how to deal with Thorwald before Thorwald knows who's watching him. Starring, James Stewart, Grace Kelly, Wendell Corey Director. Alfred Hitchcock Year, 1954 Runtime, 112 Minutes Rating, PG Rio Bravo Arresting a Rich Man's Brother for Murder has steep but exciting consequences in Rio Bravo. Sheriff John T. Chance isn't going to just let Nathan Burdett waltz his guilty brother out of jail, even if Burdett can gather up his own private army. Burdett's overwhelming numbers will have to face off against Chance's crew of surprisingly capable misfits. Rio Bravo has good Western action but its real appeal comes from its amiable tone and immensely likable characters. They have great chemistry, and it's easy to care about their emotional journeys and what victory will give them. Starring, John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson Director, Howard Hawksheer, 1959 Runtime, 141 Minutes Rating, NR The Royal Tenenbaums When Wes Anderson's whimsical style explores deep, thorny emotions, the results are striking. We see that in The Royal Tenenbaums, which is all about family dysfunction and the weight of disappointment. The younger set of Tenenbaums, Chaz, Richie, and Margot, were all acclaimed prodigies, but their greatness falls away as they get older and life proves disappointing. On the eve of their mother's remarriage, their estranged and unreliable father, Royal, comes back into their lives. His reappearance acts as a catalyst, leading the family, and Richie's best friend, Eli, to confront things like the unspoken love between Richie and Margot and Chaz lingering grief over his wife's death. Come for the stylized aesthetics, stay for the heartfelt storytelling. Starring, Gene Hackman, Angelica Houston, Ben Stiller Director, Wes Anderson Year, 2001 Runtime, 109 Minutes Rating. R. Schindler's List Charming, charismatic Oscar Schindler has spent years wanting to make a fortune and a name for himself. At first, to him, World War II is just a business opportunity. He looks the other way when his Jewish foreman, Itzhak Stern, uses their factory as a way to classify people as essential workers and save them from the labor camps, but he doesn't get involved until the Holocaust underneath his nose becomes too obvious and real to ignore. Then Schindler begins to use his resources to save lives, eventually putting everything on the line to try to protect whoever he can. Powerful, wrenching, and beautifully crafted, Schindler's List is hard to watch, but an unforgettable cinematic experience. Starring, Liam Neeson, Ben Kingsley, Rafe Fiennes Director, Steven Spielberg Year, 1993 Runtime, 195 Minutes Rating, R7 Samurai A Poor Mountain Village in Japan knows that harvest time will bring on another bandit raid, and this one could wipe them out for good. They decide to hire samurai for protection. One's down and out enough to work for rice instead of money. The result is an unusual group, ranging from an old master to a still untried young samurai to a wild man who isn't really a samurai at all. Together, they must train the villagers and rely on cooperation, courage, and trickery to drive off the bandits. With plenty of excitement, humor, tragedy, and nuance, Seven Samurai is a lasting and highly influential classic. Starring Toshiro Mifune, Takashi Shimura, Daisuke Kato Director, Akira Kurosawa Year, 1954 Runtime, 207 Minutes Rating, NR The Seventh Seal Antonius Block and his squire, Johns, are returning from the Crusades when Antonius encounters death himself and faces him in a tense chess match that sprawls out over days as Antonius and Johns make their way through the countryside and their story entangles with traveling performers Joff and Mia. With the plague hovering in the background, the characters try to determine how to live their lives in a world where they often feel God is out of reach and happiness is fleeting. The characters are deeply human, but the most unforgettable part of The Seventh Seal might be its haunting images. Starring Max von Sydow, Gunnar Bjornstrand, Nils Papa Director, Ingmar Bergman Year, 1956 Runtime, 96 Minutes Rating, and our Shaun of the Dead zombie movies don't come any funnier than Shaun of the Dead 
and comedies don't come any tenser or gorier. Sean is a slacker whose inability to do anything more than coast through life has just led to his breakup with his longtime girlfriend, Liz. And then zombies start attacking, which only makes the breakup pain worse. Together with his hilarious, but even more unreliable, best friend Ed, Sean has to step up to help the people he loves survive the zombie apocalypse. Even if it does ultimately mean still going to the pub, it's a secure location. The result is a perfect genre bender that's as hilarious as it is horrifying. Starring, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Kate Ashfield Director, Edgar Wright Year, 2004 Runtime, 99 Minutes Rating, are the Shawshank Redemption when banker Andy Dufresne is convicted of murdering his wife, he's sentenced to life at the grim Shawshank State Prison. His only lifeline is his genuine friendship with fellow lifer Red, who has a particular skill for getting contraband into the prison. Andy's accounting skills prove useful to the corrupt prison administration, which earns him special favors, but any pushback, or attempt to prove his innocence, gets him vicious retaliation. But despite everything, Andy has a special way of holding on to hope. Red is drawn to that, and the story he tells about it is immensely satisfying and emotional. Starring, Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, Bob Gunton Director, Frank Darabont Year, 1994 Runtime, 142 Minutes Rating. Are the shining alcoholic writer Jack Torrance gets what could be a dream job. Winter caretaker at the historic Overlook Hotel. The duties should be light, it'll give him plenty of time to write, and he can even take his family with him. But Jack, as it turns out, is a man on the brink, and the isolation and cabin fever at the Overlook push him further. And then, of course, there are the ghosts. As Jack slips into madness and the supernatural happenings at the Overlook intensify, the question becomes whether his young son, gifted with a psychic power called The Shining, an overwhelmed wife can possibly make it out alive. Starring, Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duval, Danny Lloyd Director, Stanley Kubrick Year, 1980 Runtime, 144 Minutes Rating. Our singin' in the rain the transition point between silent films and talkies is given glorious, frothy life in, singin' in the rain, a charming romantic comedy musical. If you believe the Hollywood press, matinee idol Don Lockwood is inseparably linked to his leading lady, Lena Lamont. But off-screen, Don is a goof and a bit of a ham. His best friend is the cheerfully clownish Cosmo, and he can't stand the smug Lena. Instead, he's drawn to the earnest young actor Kathy. Everything gets more complicated when the studio rushes to start making talking pictures. Especially since Lena's voice is far less traditionally glamorous than her appearance. Can Don, Kathy, and Cosmo pull the movie together behind the scenes and make it work? Starring, Gene Kelly, Debbie Reynolds, Donald O'Connor Directors, Gene Kelly, Stanley Donan Year, 1952 Runtime, 103 Minutes Rating. Gee Some Like It Hot never has a movie about being on the run from gangsters been such a delight. In, Some Like It Hot, struggling musicians Joe and Jerry accidentally witness a gangland massacre, and unfortunately, the gangsters saw them too. In a frantic attempt to hide out, the two make their way out of town dressed as Josephine and Daphne, two members of an all-female band. Joe soon finds himself intent on seducing the sweet, sultry Sugar, another bandmate, and takes on a third identity as a single millionaire. Daphne, meanwhile, stumbles into an engagement with the wealthy Osgood. This comedy is playful, the performances are great, and the movie sports one of the best endings of all time. Starring, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon Director, Billy Wilder Year, 1959 Runtime, 121 Minutes Rating, PG Spirited Away When Chihiro's Dad Decides to Take a Shortcut, it inadvertently leads the whole family into the spirit world. Her parents quickly fall prey to the forces there, gobbling up food until their greed literally turns them into pigs, and Chihiro is all alone. She works at a mystical bathhouse, encountering spirits and living in nearly constant chaos, all of which risks overwhelming her until she forgets her real name. If that happens, warns the mysterious boy Haku, she will be stuck there forever, just as he is. Beautifully animated and thematically rich, spirited away helped bring anime to wider and more mainstream international audiences. Starring, Rumi Hiragi, Miyu Irino, Mari Natsuki Director, Hayao Miyazaki Year, 2001 Runtime, 125 Minutes Rating, PG Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan The Star Trek, movies reach their storytelling pinnacle with the nuanced, tragic, Wrath of Khan, which follows up on the series episode, Space Seed. 
Captain Kirk is now Admiral Kirk, and he's feeling his age. It's both the best and worst time for a resurgence of his past in the form of old enemy Khan Noonien Singh, who wants revenge. And who also wants the Genesis device, which causes new life to bloom. Facing off against Khan this time will test Kirk's long-standing gift for finding wins in no-win scenarios. Starring William Shatner, Ricardo Montalban, Leonard Nimoy Director, Nicholas Meyer Year, 1982 Runtime, 113 Minutes Rating. PG Star Wars science fiction and fantasy tropes blend perfectly in the story of Luke Skywalker, a restless young man on an out-of-the-way desert planet, getting swept up into a galactic adventure when his home life is destroyed. Luke joins a quest to rescue Princess Leia and join with her, also enlisting smuggler and scoundrel Han Solo, to destroy the planet-killing Death Star and deliver a major blow to the evil empire. Imagination, sweeping music, and revolutionary special effects seal the deal on making this a classic. Starring Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher Director, George Lucas Year, 1977 Runtime, 121 Minutes Rating, PG Sunset Boulevard Hollywood loves to build up stars and then either tear them down or forget about them. Few movies show that better than Sunset Boulevard which blends film noir with a searing look at the movie industry and the washed-up lives of the people who used to lead it. The casting even evokes the actors' real-life careers. Norma Desmond was one of the giants of the silent film era, but she didn't survive the transition to talkies. Now she wastes away in a decaying mansion, nursing dreams of a big comeback that will never happen. Struggling screenwriter Joe is sucked into her life, but what will it do to him? Starring William Holden, Gloria Swanson, Eric Von Stroheim Director, Billy Wilder Year, 1950 Runtime, 110 Minutes Rating. NR Superman superhero movies were treated with a kind of elegant optimism in Superman, which treated viewers to an earnest, charming origin story for the most famous superhero of all time. Christopher Reeve turns in a very genuine performance as Superman, a.k.a. Clark Kent, who came to Earth as an infant, the seeming sole survivor of his home planet's destruction. He grows up to be a goofy, clumsy reporter, and a superhero who uses his strength, flight, and other abilities to do whatever good he can. Those two lines of work bring him to ace reporter Lois Lane, the love of his life, and Lex Luthor, a businessman determined to make profit through destruction. With a charismatic cast and a lot of endearing idealism, this one just works. Starring, Christopher Reeve, Gene Hackman, Marlon Brando Director, Richard Donner Year, 1978 Runtime. 143 minutes rating. PG taxi driver living an isolated, marginal life in New York and working nights as a taxi driver, Vietnam War vet Travis Bickle is mostly severed from the rest of the world. And his estrangement and anger are growing. He develops an obsession with campaign worker Betsy and asks her out, but quickly alienates her. He starts looking for opportunities for violence, either as a perpetrator or a protector. His one lifeline might be his connection to Iris, a child sex worker he wants to rescue, but this could also just be another avenue to destruction in this dark masterpiece. Starring, Robert De Niro, Jodie Foster, Cybill Shepard Director, Martin Scorsese Year, 1976 Runtime, 114 Minutes Rating. Are There Will Be Blood? There Will Be Blood centers on Daniel Plainview, whose ruthlessness and singular drive helps him turn an oil well discovery into an empire but he makes an unexpected enemy in boyish pastor Eli Sunday, who's driven by his own desire for power. With a complex shared interest in the same lucrative land, the two are bound together for years, alternating victories and defeats. And while Daniel continues to rise and accumulate his fortune, he sacrifices everything else, including his relationship with his adopted son, H.W. Vivid, bleak, and sometimes even darkly humorous, There Will Be Blood, is beautifully shot and perfectly acted. It sits comfortably alongside Citizen Kane as a film portraying the dark side of American success. Starring Daniel Day-Lewis, Paul Dono, Kevin J. O'Connor Director, Paul Thomas Anderson Year, 2007 Runtime, 158 Minutes Rating, Are the Thief of Baghdad This colorfully irresistible fantasy film tells stories within stories. Evil Vizier Jafar tricks, deposes, and imprisons his young Sultan Ahmad, and Ahmad must join forces with the Scrappy, capable thief Abu, his cellmate, in order to escape and get back to reclaim his throne. On the way, Ahmad falls in love with a beautiful princess, a woman Jafar wants for himself, 
and Abu accidentally releases a powerful genie. It all comes together in a bright tapestry of legends and inventive early special effects. Starring, Conrad Veidt, Sabu, June Duprez Director, Michael Powell, Ludwig Berger, Tim Year, 1940 Runtime, 106 Minutes Rating. An our Tokyo story in this profoundly affecting slice-of-life drama, Shukichi and Tomi, an older Japanese couple, travel for brief stays with their children in Tokyo. The visit only emphasizes the distance in the family, as the adult children fail to make any room in their lives for their parents. The one exception is the sweet, shy Noriko, their widowed daughter-in-law, and they want her to remarry for the sake of her own happiness, which will mean her gradually moving out of their lives. A nuanced character study of a family and a quiet exploration of mid-century Japanese life, Tokyo Story, is delicate but powerful. Starring, Chishu Ryu, Chiko Higashiyama, Setsuko Hara Director, Yasujiro Ozuyir, 1953 Runtime, 136 Minutes Rating. NR Toy Story What if your toys moved when you were out of the room? In, Toy Story, they do, and in Young Andy's room, the head toy is definitely Woody the Cowboy, Andy's longtime favorite. Woody is affable and a good leader. Until cool new astronaut Buzz Lightyear shows up and knocks him out of the number one spot in Andy's life. What makes it even worse is that Buzz refuses to believe he's a toy at all. Pixar's CGI animation in, Toy Story, changed the movies forever. But as cool as the technical innovation here is, the story and performances are what really sing. Starring, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Don Rickles Director, John Lassiter Year, 1995 Runtime, 81 Minutes Rating. G. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, is a bleak parable about greed. Fred C. Dobbs sets out, in partnership with two other men, to prospect for gold, but getting it costs him everything. Even the work of getting it out of the ground is exhausting and debilitating, and once untold wealth is at their feet, the men start getting paranoid and mistrustful. Dobbs in particular starts to unravel, becoming selfish, jittery, and miserable. And no matter what he does, there's no guarantee he can make it out with the gold alive. Starring, Humphrey Bogart, Walter Houston, Tim Holt Director, John Houston Year, 1948 Runtime, 126 Minutes Rating, NR The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, starts with two young lovers. Genevieve, whose mother owns an umbrella shop, and Guy, a mechanic. The two are devoted to each other, but when Guy is called up to serve in the Algerian War, they're separated. It's the worst time for Genevieve to learn that she's pregnant. Worried about her future and believing Guy has moved on, she marries the wealthy Roland. What separates this bittersweet French musical from many similarly star-crossed love stories is that Roland isn't a bad match, and neither is the steady, compassionate Madeleine, whom Guy eventually marries. But the movie elegantly captures how you can't help reminiscing about the road not taken. Starring, Catherine Deneuve, Nino Castelnuovo, Anne Vernon Director, Jacques Demy Year, 1964 Runtime, 91 Minutes Rating. N.R. Unforgiven William Money was once a vicious, murderous outlaw, but his marriage changed him. Even after his wife's death, he's tried to hold on to her morality and live a peaceful life. But his struggling farm can't support his children, so he reluctantly takes on the job of avenging the mutilation of the prostitute Delilah. He can't enter back into his old life without a cost, however, especially when the quest brings him up against the cruel and controlling sheriff Little Bill Daggett. This raw study of the weight of violence makes this one of the darkest and most moving westerns ever made. Director. Clint Eastwood Year, 1992 Runtime, 131 Minutes Rating. Our vertigo in this charged psychological thriller. Former Detective Scotty finds himself drawn into the mystery of Madeline Elster, who's been behaving erratically. Her husband believes she could be possessed by her ancestor, Carlotta. Scotty falls in love with Madeline, but when he's unable to save her, his love becomes a dark obsession. He believes he's found her double, Judy Barton, and, to her distress, tries to mold her to match his memories of Madeline. But Judy has a secret. Her connection to Madeline is deeper and stranger than Scotty could ever guess. Starring, James Stewart, Kim Novak, Barbara Bel Geddes Director, Alfred Hitchcock Year, 1958 Runtime, 128 Minutes Rating, PG The Wizard of Oz In this classic fantasy, Dorothy is swept up in a cyclone. In an instant, she's transported from ordinary, and sepia, Kansas to magical, and technicolor, Oz. When Dorothy's house crashes down, she winds up with a pair of magical ruby slippers, and the Wicked Witch of the West hot on her tail. She has to make it to Emerald City, where she can ask the Wizard of Oz to send her back home before it's too late. 
and she gets some company for the road. A cowardly lion who needs courage, a tin man who needs a heart, and a scarecrow who needs a brain. They'll have to make their way through a lot of adventures to get what they want. Starring Judy Garland, Frank Morgan, Ray Bolger Director, Victor Fleming Year, 1939 Runtime, 101 Minutes Rating. G. Zodiac The real-life Zodiac murders get an almost documentary-like treatment in this stunning, eerie, and coolly depicted film. Newspaper cartoonist Robert Graysmith finds himself sucked into the Zodiac case when his paper starts receiving the killer's encrypted letters. His obsession warps his life, but it also draws him closer, he thinks, to unraveling the truth. We also take a panoramic view of the killings and their investigations, checking in on all the people affected, and sometimes shattered, by the killings and following Inspector Dave Toshi as he struggles to put the pieces together. The procedural details here are excellent and engrossing, making the hunt for the Zodiac hypnotic even as the film hues to the case's actual lack of a firm, official resolution. Starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr. Director David Fincher Year, 2007 Runtime, 157 Minutes Rating, R.